Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Two Trains Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or Buy Me A Coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover Strength of Materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is a mixed bag of DP exam test questions round 5, question 2. And this is tension in cables, supports of a different length. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I am going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer the questions would, could cost you marks, even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary notes at the beginning of the video. Let's get straight into it. Okay, our first question. A cable with a length of 100 meters hangs between two supports, which differ in length, the weight of the cable is 200 newtons per meter and the turning point is 6 meters below the shorter support. The minimum tension in the cable is 20,8 kilonewtons. Calculate the following. The tension at the lowest support, the tension at the highest support, the difference in height between the two supports and the horizontal distance between the supports. Okay. So what we have to do basically is here we have our two supports. Right. From there to the lowest support over here is six meters from there to there. The want from there to there they want H, they want H, and they want, they want the tension here, the tension there, and they want X1 and X2. That's what they want. All right. To explain this, we don't have H, which we will need later. We've got D, so we have D, which is 6. We don't have X1 and don't have X2. We will work out YO first. And we need the tension here, T1. This will be T2, and that will be T1. So we'll need the tensions in the cable and the short side and the tension in the high side. This will obviously be more tension than that. We have D, we'll need H. H is between the height between the supports. So as I explained before, now we're going to look for the tension in the lower support. So, YO is equal to FH F sub H, sorry, over W. Now, how this works is F sub H equals 2800. W is equal to 200. That's Newtons. Newtons per meter. D equals 6 meters. L total is 100 meters. That is the length of the whole cable. And yeah, and we have every, everything they have given us. So to get YO, because we will need, now YO is the distance between the turning point to the ground. That is YO. So what we're going to do now is say YO, because that'll be a factor in every single sum from now onwards. So 2800 over 200 equals 104 meters. So 104 meters. Now, this is not the end of the sum. I will show you where the end of the sum is. 
But now that we have YO, now we need to work out Y1. Y1 equals YO plus. So this whole thing here is Y1. So from there to there is Y1. From there to there is Y2. Y1 is YO plus D. So it is YO plus 6. So this will be 104 plus 6, which is 110 newtons. Sorry, 110 meters. My mistake, it's meters, because we're dealing in lengths. So, y1 is equal to 110 meters. Now, what we need to do, now what we need to do, is work out F total 1. So that is W times W times Y1. So we have 200 newtons per meter, 200 times y1 which is 110 so 200 times that is 22 kilonewtons so this is what we're looking for we're looking for this tension here so that's our final answer so we're looking for f t1 equals 22 kilonewtons Now, they want us to find the tension in the higher support. So, let's work out Y2. Y2 Yes. So, L1 is equal to the root of Y1 squared minus YO squared. So, what we need to do now now this is work now we're going to work out y2 but we need l1 first because we need l2 so to get l2 we need to find l1 so that we can say 100 minus l1 to get our l2 now what we need to do is say the root of y1 which is 1, 1, 0 squared minus y o, 1, o, 4 squared, and that equals 35,833 meters. So, L1 equals 35,833 meters. Now, L2 equals 100 minus L1. So 100 minus 35,833, which will give us 64,163. Seven meters. This makes sense. So 
L2 equals 64,167 meters. So our next step is to work out Y2. So we have all our L2, we have L2, so we just need L2 and Y-O. So, Y2 equals the root of L2 squared minus plus Y-O squared. L2, 64,167 squared plus Y0, 104 squared. And that gives us 122,202 meters. So that is really high. So Y2 is equal to 1. 22,202 meters. Okay, now that we have y2, we've got y1 and y2. So now what we need now is Ft2. So Ft2. Now this will equal wy2. So, 200 times 122,202. And that equals 24,44 kilonewtons. 24,44 kilonewtons. Now, The question is 2.3. Next, they want the difference in the height between the two. So what we have is H is equal to Y2 minus Y1. So Y2 is 122,202 minus 110. And that equals... 12,202 meters. So H equals 12,202 meters. That's it. 2,4. 2,4 wants us to the horizontal distance between supports. So we want x1 and x2. So we want x1 and x2. To get x1, it is x1 equals yo lin times y1 plus l1 over yo. That is our formula. So this will equal Y0104 lin times 110 plus L1 35,833 over 104. And X1, X1 is equal to 35,159 meters. 35,159 meters. X2. Now we're going to go for X2. X2 is exactly the same. Except... All we do is change to 2 
to the 2 and to the 2. Now our top line may be a little bit different. So y2, 1, 2, 2, 2, plus 64, 1, And y2 equals 16,667 meters. So x2 equals 16,667 meters. Now our final sum, our total, I want the total length between the two the horizontal distance between the two supports and that is extremely simple want the horizontal distance between supports so that is x total equals x1 plus x2 so what we have to do now is say x1 35 comma 159 plus 60,667. 95,827 meters is x total. And that is our final answer. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you would like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.